What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the other showdown card and it is going to be your boy Herman to review today. Now I must admit, he doesn't look outrageously good, but he doesn't look bad. Okay, there is a lot of problems to this card, one being the three-star weak foot. I see the strength and aggression not being insanely good as well. I see the composure not being insanely good. And it all kind of depends on which chem styles you want to use, depending on which like kind of position you want to play him in. It's like all over the place kind of with this card right here. Either way, if we are comparing him to his original gold card, we are looking at a plus 16 to pace, a plus 8 to shooting, a plus 10 to passing, a plus 8 to dribbling, a plus 5 to defending, and a plus 10 to passing as as well another problem is they're playing manchester city do you think motion gladback is gonna win against manchester city especially with on the form they are currently on yeah i don't feel like it's gonna happen so i don't feel like this card is gonna get that plus two upgrade which it kind of needs now he is a five foot ten player with medium high work rates that is something you don't see very often on a right wing card you usually see high medium not medium high but either way we are going to see how it actually like works when going forward is it going to affect his attacking ai by a huge amount or is it not really going to do much he has got also four star skill moves and a three star weak foot when it comes down to the chem style engine chem style is the way i have gone now you can use a hawk if you really want to to obviously boost the pace the shooting and the physicals or you could use a hunter if you want to try just try to make this guy as fast as possible and actually have like a really good shot but the reason i've gone for an engine is because my plan is to make him just feel as good on the ball as possible if he feels good on the ball this guy right here looks like he wouldn't be too bad of a cam or wouldn't be too bad of a right winger now in a striker position with medium high work rates that right there is going to be straight up a little bit of a problem i feel like he's attacking ai is just not going to be outrageously good but with the engine chem style with him hoping you know me hoping to in fact actually feel good on the ball I might be able to create my own chances. We'll see how it goes. He has got 99 acceleration with the 89 sprint speed. So the pace is definitely there. The shooting ability is 87 attacking positioning, 84 finishing, 84 shot power, 83 long shots, 77 volleys with the 69 penalties. Shooting ability not being outrageously good. And obviously if you give him a hunter or a hawk hem style, they do go up. The passing ability, he has got 96 vision, 98 crossing, 71 freaky accuracy, eight, sorry, 90. 92 short passing my brain just completely died there either way 80 long passing of the 94 curve as well the passing ability actually seems pretty pretty good so playing this guy in like a cam position i don't feel actually i don't feel like it wouldn't be too bad you know dribbling ability he has got 90 agility 92 balance 88 reactions 86 ball control 97 dribbling but only 76 composure that composure i feel like you are gonna notice it time to time now the physicals he's got 78 jumping which is not great he's only got 80 stamina which means he will be not he will not be lasting for the whole 90 minutes. So you are gonna have to use this guy as a super sub or get a super sub for him. He has got 66 strength as well with this 68 aggression. So plenty, and I mean plenty or plenty of problems with this card, which is something you don't want to see, especially for 140,000 coins. Now, when it comes down to links, I've just gone for icons, Deco and Carlos Alberto. You can obviously link him up with Bundesliga players, so it's not the end of the world. I've also liked it, Aguero, Curtis Jones, and your boy Adam in this team also. I will be playing Herman in a 4-4-2 in that striker position but i'm also going to be playing him in a cam and ram position in a full 2-3-1 but let's get into the games given the ball right here let's see how he feels on the ball with the engine chem style little turn right there little fake shot lack of to cancel that didn't seem that didn't seem too bad it looks like he's actually agile on the ball which is really good to see but it's something i was expecting with the engine chem style applied can i go for a quick one two oh my god look at that pace game behind well played ball roll oh ref penalty that was probably the most flukiest penalty I've ever seen. Who jumps like that to get a penalty? What have I just witnessed? Either way, I will take it. I will take it nonetheless. Let's let's look at this jump again. What? Okay. Either way, let's give it. Let's give him the penalty and let's see if we can score the goal. I don't even know what just happened. 67, 69 penalty. Sorry. Always a good thing to see. Uh, let's go top bins. Come on. I feel like this guy's gonna read it. I'm going to tap it and then I'm going to go to the left side. 
There you go, green time. I felt like he was going to read it. He just had that, like, movement to his goalkeeper. Either way, first goal. Nice little interception. Kind of good use of strength there. Can I hit it through the gap? I can hit it through the gap. Do you know what? He looks so fast. That's something I'm noticing. That's great turning ability. Can we go for that cross goal finish? Hold up a second. Hold up a second. I was not expecting this card to turn this good. And I was not expecting this card to have actually a finishing ability. We might be in, we might be in for some treat. We might be in for a treat. Let's just say that, boys. Hey, boss. Nice, well played. Good touch. Good acceleration as well. A little ball roll. Going to go for the bridge into the open space. Hill to hill. Like okay to cancel. Ball roll. Stanley scoot turn. Boys, I'm telling you. Come on. Get that ball. Nah, I'm telling you. He feels good on the ball with the engine chem style. And that's something I really, really was not expecting. I knew he was going to feel okay, but not this good. Can I see if I can get a quick one too? Try to get him in behind. Really good pass, Deco. Like I had to cancel towards the near post. Oh, I should have took like a little extra touch there. Straight through the middle. Well played. Touch. Little through ball all the way to the top. That's something I'm really going to enjoy about him. Playing in that striker position. Or even playing him in that cam position. Simply because I can touch turn and just go for an instant through ball all the way to the other side. Knowing that it's actually going to get there. Aguero on the ball. Give it to Herman right here. Like I get to cancel, beautiful turn. No way Alaba recovers and actually gets the block in. That's ridiculous. What a turn from Herman though. Can I pass it through the gap? I can. Give it to Herman right there. He was making that nice diagonal run, which is really, really good to see. He's dribbling, boys. I'm telling you, this guy's not even selecting the person I'm closest to. Oh my, oh my, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, boys. Give this guy the engine chem style and he can do exactly that. Can I double away through the middle? I can't get a double away. I'm going to try to get a one, two. Maybe go for it again. Oh, one dribble. Double away again. Can I go for a fake shot? Send him on a run. Double away through the middle. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Beautiful play. Keep going. Little fake shot. Oh, my God. A little finesse shot. No, he's done so well to get that far as well. Good tackle, Alan. I'm going to send him on a run. Get him behind. Come on. There you go. Use a little bit of strength. Oh, that is where he is going to slack in some areas. Where he went, when he needs to use his strength in those kind of situations, he is going to get bodied. And there's going to be so many players that can actually hit him off the ball because nowadays people use obviously like players like Varane, players like Virgil van Dijk, players like Alfonso Davis, all of these really, really strong players that obviously has got more strength than Herman. So I have moved Herman into the cam position now. We are going to see how he actually plays there. One thing I'm really interested to see is to see if he's actually more of like an aggressive cam or is he more one of those cams that's, you know, going to come feet like right here. Give it to Aguero. Let's see. Is he going to make that run in behind? He's still going to make that run in behind. Is he going to run up now? I like how he makes that movement. I like how he realizes that the bottom is not actually, you know, not actually like open. So he kind of just switches it about and just goes to the open space. That's really like something I'm really enjoying about Herman and I did notice that especially in the striker position as well gonna give it to Aguero Herman has actually switched with Aguero here so maybe in the cam position he's gonna be one of those hold up a second let me try to hold up a second let me try to let me try to twist and turn inside the box do a few skill moves to create that angle but yeah, as I was saying I feel like he's gonna be one of those players just by looking at his movement that's gonna switch with that striker in that 4-2-3 wide 3-2-4-2-3-1 uh, formation a decent amount of time so that might be a little bit of a problem if you don't want him to actually go ahead and do that but really good finish and really good dribbling giving the ball here Herman play that ball that's a really assisted pass. I'm going to be honest, boys. I aimed that down, but let's see. Good turn. Come on, keep going. What are you going to do now? Are you going to give me the passing option? Or are you going to continue to run forward? Hmm. In the cam position, he's too aggressive. I'm going to be real. Like, he's giving me the option right there. But as soon as I pass the deco, watch, he'll run away. Yeah, look, he's running away. He's not coming feet at all. Yeah, way, way too aggressive in that cam position. So he's not really one of those cams that I would like to have in my, in my personal team. How has he still got his ball? There you go. He eventually loses it. Ball right here. First time switch all the way to the other side. That's something. Oh my God. That was a horrible touch from Deco. Deco, what are you doing, lad? Touch the ball. Because Herman has literally placed that ball on an absolute plate for you. All you had to do was touch it and you'd be good to go. But he completely missed the ball. What the hell? Oh, to Herman. Continue to run down. Well played. Going to give that ball to Aguero. I believe he is on side. Can we get an assist for him? Yes, we can. Give him the ball right here. Nice. 
Oh, I see a little. Yeah, there you go. As soon as I saw that centre back commit, I was like, we're in. Boys, come on. R -r Referee. Sort him out. If that's not a red card, there will be questions asked. Yeah, it's going to be a red card. I believe that's a red card animation. It is going to be a red card. All right, we got a free kick. There's only one thing to do. Step up to the plate, Herman. Let's see if you can put this into the back of the net with your 71 free kick accuracy. I see him moving a keeper. Should we go to the other side? Why not? Let's go this side. I want to see if this actually goes in. I rarely tried this side, so maybe. Oh, that's a bit off. That's a, I'm going to green time anyway. Yeah, it's a bit off. That's on me. That's literally all on me. So it is time to review him. Two games played, four goals scored with a single assist as well. Playing him in that striker, cam and ram position as well. Now, which position did I feel like was perfect for him where you could use him to his full potential? I would actually say the striker position. And the reason I say that is because of that movement that he did. He has got a really, really good attacking AI where it's kind of selective in a way where he makes decisions by himself where he's going to go. So if you, let's say you're you're going if you let's say you're going one way and he's making a run into like an open space and he realizes that space is getting closed off and then there's an open another open space opening up he instantly reacts towards it and goes into that open space but yeah something you're really going to be surprised about is his movement in a striker position because for medium high work rate i did not expect it to actually be that good either way do i believe this card is worth the 140k he is currently going for I'm going to be honest, there's a lot of problems to this card, all right? Three-star weak foot is not outrageously good. It was okay. It just wasn't insane, you know? Uh, physical stamina and make him not last for the whole 90 minutes is a big problem. The strength, the aggression, the composure wasn't actually too bad, but it was still kind of noticeable, noticeable in some certain angles. But, like, there's so many problems to this card to the point where 140k, I feel like, is just a little bit overpriced. He's a good card. He really is. He's a card that's going to be useful for a certain period of time in-game. But then as soon as you start to get in the last, like, 30 minutes, that's when you're going to see him slow down a lot. And do you want to spend 140k on a player that can't even last for the whole 90 minutes, knowing that there's players out there that are cheaper, that can last and have a good ability? That's the issue. That's the big, big issue. If you're build, building a Bundesliga team, go ahead and get him. Why not at the end of the day? But if you're just going to use him as a player that's, you know, sitting on a bench or anything like that, don't bother. Don't bother. 140k for a super sub is not the way to go. It really, really isn't. And another problem is, I doubt he's going to get that plus two upgrade. They're playing Manchester City. Manchester City. The form City are on. I really doubt, you know, Mosh and Gladbach is going to end up winning. So this card is most likely going to stay at an 86 overall. But let's get into the ratings. Pace-wise, even with the engine chem style, it was really, really good. So for pace, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a solid 9.2 out of 10. Shooting ability, I'm not going to over-exaggerate it. It was good, but it wasn't insane. There were certain angles that I felt like it could have gone in if there was, you know, better shot power or better finishing. But, it, you know, it didn't. So for shooting, I am going to give him him, I'll probably say like an 8.4 out of 10. Passing ability, really did enjoy his passing ability, really did. I didn't feel comfortable when passing on his left foot because it was a three-star weak foot, but I still felt like it was a pass that could actually end up getting onto the end of the player, which it did the majority of the time. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a solid 8.6 out of 10. Really impressive, really, really impressive. Dribbling ability, this is where you have to give him a decently high rating because I was impressed. I was really impressed. I didn't expect this guy to be this agile. I really didn't. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, cool. I'll probably say like an 8.9 out of 10. It has to be up there. It really does. You're going to realize how good this guy is at dribbling once you apply the engine chem style on this card. Physicals, stamina, not great. Strength, not great. Aggression, not great. It's a card that's really going to slack in the physicals. So I'm going to give him, I'll probably say like a solid 6.5 out of 10. And that is going to lower the rating by a decent amount. So for the overall rating, I am going to give him, I'll probably give him like a an 8.2. 8.2 out of 10. As I said, the physicals is going to lower, lower it by a decent, decent amount. That's always going to be a problem with this card right here. Which chem style do I believe is perfect for him, by the way? The engine. 
go for the engine. Trust me, you will be surprised how good he actually is with the engine chem style. I didn't try him with the hunter or hawk, but with the hunter chem style, I feel like the pace was already good enough with the engine, so you don't really need it. You could obviously argue about the shooting stats, but then you're losing the dribbling. And for me, you need dribbling on this card. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace. Thank you.